G'day. In this episode of Nev's Garage, we're going to be fitting an inline fuel pressure gauge to this Subaru Vortex. It's got the EA82 turbo engine, it's EFI. So fitting a fuel pressure gauge is a good way of keeping an eye on fuel pump condition and also injector condition, as it will help us monitor and maintain and diagnose EFI running conditions and problems in the future. And also it's a bit of bling bling for your thing in the engine bay. So uh, let's get into it. It's a simple job. I'll show you how to do it. So first we need the components for the job. So we need an inline adapter with a 1 8 NPT thread. We need our gauge. Okay. So I've just got this TFI Racing inline fuel adapter. Uh, I've got a Turbo Smart glycol filled gauge. Don't skimp on this sort of thing. You want a good gauge if you're going to do it, do it properly. Okay. These are available from any good auto parts store. So what we're going to do is wrap some Teflon thread tape around the thread on the gauge. Now it's just really simple as screwing the gauge into the fitting. Once you feel some resistance on the thread, stop screwing it with the body of the gauge and screw it with the nut on the back. Hopefully end up with the gauge clocked around the right way to the barbs, so it's nice and plumb. Like that. So there we go, there's our inline gauge. Now it's just a matter of putting it into the car. So this part really is dead simple. Just have to figure out where we want to mount the gauge. So to find the inlet for the um, fuel rail, you just follow the fuel filter. This hose here. So that's this is the inlet for the fuel rail. That's where we put our pressure gauge. So I reckon I'll just mount it about there. The bonnet obviously clears power cables going to the starter, so if I put it there it's not going to cause a clearance issue. So what we want to do is make sure the fuel rail is depressurized. Now I haven't driven the car for about a week, so there's not going to be any pressure in the fuel rail, but if you do use your car as a daily driver, you just need to depressurize it by clamping the inlet hose off and then cranking the engine over to relieve the pressure off the fuel rail. But we don't need to do that in this instance. So I'm just going to put a rag underneath just to catch any residual fuel. And we just cut our fuel hose to suit. So I'm going to put it about there. Get our clamps. Push the gauge onto this one first. And then we just trim what's left of the hose to suit.
Ah. Get rid of our rag. Give it a, a wipe. And that's it, it's in. There it is. Of course you can paint the brass adapter if you want it, if you want it to blend in. Don't paint it before you fit it because the petrol will probably just wash the paint off. Um, yeah, so there we go. Now let's uh, give it a test run. There we go, so that's just with the fuel rail primed with the pump only at 30.5 psi. Now I'm going to just start and run the engine. So rock steady 31 psi. You can see the pressure rise up there as the manifold vacuum drops. That's exactly how it should work. Cool. So there you go guys. Inline fuel pressure gauge fitted. Easy as that. It's like a 10 minute job. Helps us keep an eye on fuel rail pressure, fuel pump condition, and also fuel pressure reg operation. So as always, please keep liking, sharing, and subscribing to Ned's Garage, and we'll see you next time.